Hello everyone in YouTube land, this is Alan aka AOL Customer. Um, sorry for the delay, I'm going to go ahead and start the new episode. Um, it was mostly because we were worried about Hurricane Irma. Um, I'm over in Tampa, Florida, so it was a bullseye, but we dodged another bullet. Um, so, let's get on with this new episode 4. And see what we got in store. Uh, rhyming. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell Father the betrothal is off. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Ah! Ah! Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? <laughs> you can be Lord Roderick. So long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first. Like a pig. <laughs> Yeah, it was defense. Sorry. Wouldn't let him attack me. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... And we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. <laughs> didn't mean it. 
Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Go on, then. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible. Finn can't stand me. Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone. Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Frostfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and mm. be done with it. Garrod. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were gonna be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from this. John, I swear I honored my vows. Brit wanted a fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, sir. I'm inclined to agree with her on this one. He won't bite. I think I'd rather not. You're smarter than you seem. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. Then you were wise to keep your distance. You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. 
I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. Will that be a problem? My friend has the burns to prove it. It's likely to leave a scar. Your dragon did this. Well, he wouldn't. You must have tried to fight him. What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. He wouldn't harm anyone. Not unless he was attacked. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an army. An army? If you could spare some of your swords, Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My well, cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That yeah. is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. What if we left after the liberation, once the slaves are free? Once the slaves are free, I will sail back to Westeros and reclaim my crown. There is no after. There must be something I can do to convince you. Yeah. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. Croft? You may leave. But that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. I faced a dragon and lived. Nothing in Marine can be worse than that. How bold of you. You forget that it is my dragon you boast of defeating. I said I survived, nothing more. And Beska here, she has a history in Marine. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Asher, please. We'll help you free the city, if you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men, get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. This is about family, boy. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger, I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. What the fuck happened back there? Are we really going into Marine? What's the problem with you and Marine, anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Beska. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been.
Long time since we had a piss pocket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. <laughs> Nail! We got two more! This is family. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roiland. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so, it set a precedent. Is all this talking supposed to help? You can't just fight through the pain. You need to try something different. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! <clears throat> Let's try it again. Try it again. No, that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena? She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I'm sorry to hear we won't be sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I didn't know if I would see you again. Given how we left things. That doesn't change how I feel about you, Roderick. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. Oh, he told God. my father Griff had subdued you and... And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I marry his son, Griff. What? Lord threatened my family. Oh, boy. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. You can't marry into House Whitehill. We'll end up on opposite sides of a war. Do you think I want to marry that disgusting pig? But my father won't listen. Hmm. I'm not going to be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any I mean, other I kind way. Of... My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. Oh. Hello. That's pretty badass. You brought your men. 
Not gonna lie. I command father's elite guard. Not really gonna These lie. That's pretty cool. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Dwight will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Why? Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. Oh. You can finally take control of your house again. That Please, actually might work. Promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. I think Griff I think won't that even might see be a, it coming. Yeah, I My think that might be a command. smart, smart, smart Thank decision. You, Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. I'm sorry I couldn't marry you before. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. I think that was a smart move.